Hey guys, it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with a movie review. And this one is for the newest movie that just came out, 10 Cloverfield Lane. Now, if you guys don't know much about 10 Cloverfield Lane, it is uh, essentially a sequel. I, I don't know if they're calling it a straight sequel, but it is a sequel to uh, Cloverfield. If you guys don't know much about Cloverfield, that was a found footage, basically sci-fi Godzilla type monster movie. Really fun movie. Definitely recommend checking that movie out, especially if you're a found footage fan. Uh, really well done. Uh, brought to us by J.J. Abrams. Now, J.J. Abrams did not direct the sequel here, but he did produce it. Um, and this movie actually got a lot of buzz because there was essentially no trailer for this movie up until a month ago. They really kept this movie under wraps, um, which I think is like super interesting and uh, very cool. You, they, you don't really see that much anymore. Um, so it was like a nice surprise when uh, this movie was first announced. But um, to get into the review for 10 Cloverfield Lane, guys, I really don't want to go too much into plot details with this movie because I feel like seeing this movie fresh um, without much knowledge about it is really a good way to go into this movie. And um, honestly, it's tough to talk about plot details without spoiling the movie because, um, you know, they didn't really give much in the trailers and stuff like that. So go into this movie fresh, guys, and um, I think that's the best way to do it. Now, I gotta say, uh, John Goodman in this movie was absolutely amazing. His acting was fantastic. Without a doubt, the standout of this movie. He's really eerie, really chilling, creepy in this movie. Um, so high praise for John Goodman in this movie. Um, the first hour of 20 minutes of this movie is basically horror slash thriller. I'd probably say thriller would be the best way to describe it. Um, really no sci-fi at all. Um, so totally different from the first Cloverfield, uh, which, you know, got me thinking, like, I was really like, okay, this is not what I expected at all going into this movie, but I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I really did. I, I absolutely loved the, uh, first hour, 20 minutes of this movie. Now, the last 20 minutes of this movie really takes a hard turn from the first hour, 20 minutes of this movie. Um, it totally shifts gears and, uh takes a complete left turn, something I was expecting in a way, but wasn't expecting in a way. Um, it is almost like two totally different movies. That first hour and 20 is its own thriller, horror type movie, whereas the last 20 minutes is total sci-fi. Um, so just know that going in, I gotta say, I feel like that's an important thing because like I was kind of caught off guard um, and the ending kind of threw me for a loop, but I didn't hate it. I just kind of was a little different. Um, so would I recommend this movie, guys? Yes, I would recommend this movie. Um, you know, if you're a big horror fan, I think you will enjoy some of the horror elements in it. And if you're a sci-fi fan, you'll, you'll definitely enjoy the ending of it. Um, so overall, I will give 10 Cloverfield Lane an 8 out of 10. Uh, I was struggling between giving it a 7 or an 8, but I felt like you know, the ending kind of was just a little out there for me. Um, but it was to be expected with a, the Cloverfield name attached to it. Um, but I think they could have made this movie without Cloverfield attached to it at all. Um, like I said, that first hour 20 minutes really has nothing to do with that first Cloverfield movie. And they basically could have made a whole horror thriller movie based on that first hour 20 minutes and not include Cloverfield at all. So that's why like it kind of threw me for a loop. Um, but it was a really well done movie and I think it deserves the eight out of 10. And um, yeah, so if anyone has seen it, please uh, discuss it down below in the comments. Let me know what you thought of it. If you haven't seen it yet, let me know if you're planning on seeing it. Um, if you plan on seeing it soon, come back and uh, discuss with me later on. And uh, yeah, so that is it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, let's discuss it a little bit in the comments, and that's it, guys. So I hope everyone has a great night, and we'll see you all real soon.